and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to trace a piece of Java code that has arrays in it. So without further ado, let's get started. In the first, so in the first line of code here, we can see that this is our array declaration. So the name of this array is my array and the type is int which means integers and the length is 10 so whenever you see a declaration like this what you have to do is you have to create the array so as you can see here i've created my array it has a total of 10 boxes because length the length is 10 the indexes range from 0 to 9 um, the array is called my array and the type is int there we go. So let's move on to the next line. Int array B. Okay, so what this basically means is that we have to create an array. We have to name it B and the type is going to be integer. Now, the difference between this line and the line before is that there is no length declaration here. So instead of, um, all right, wait a second instead of creating a series of boxes like we did before we're just going to create this rectangle and this is our array and we're going to call it b the type is going to be int and there are not going to be any boxes for the time being just leave it like that in the third line we can see that there is now two variables there are two variables the first one is index 1 it's of type int so let's write index 1 here and index 1 has to equal to 0 so we're going to set it as 0 and we also have another variable called index 2 there we go and index 2 is also 0 so we're going to leave it like that Next, we have index 1 is equal to 1. So change the value of index 1 and set it to 1. Now, look at this line here. B is equal to my array. So what does that mean? This line right here. We have already declared this array B here. And the type is integer. So what b equal to my array basically does is that it takes the length of the array my array and it takes all the values that are currently stored in my array. It's going to copy them and all of it is going to be pasted in array b. So basically we, we're going to have another array of type int length 10 with all of the boxes, all of the indexes initialized as 0 and it's going to have the name b. So that's what we're going to do right here. I'm just going to delete that one and paste. Okay. All right, no. It's not going to be. I'm just going to take this. Okay, then we have another array and this one is called B. Okay, so now we have a total of two arrays, my array and array B. Now let's get started with the real piece of code. While index 1 is less than 10, so index 1 is currently 1, so 1 is of course less than 10. So we enter the loop. My array of index 1 is equal to index 1 plus 4. So what this sentence basically means is my array of index 1. My array, since index 1 is 1, we're going to place 1 there, is equal to index 1 plus 4. The value of index 1 is 1 plus 4. So my array of index 1 basically means this box right here. And we're going to have to put the number 5 inside it. We're going to replace the number 0 and we're going to put 5 in it. Put 
5. And in the next sentence, we're going to put index 2 is equal to 1. And while index 2 is less than index 1. So index 2 is 1 and index 1 is also 1. So since these two are equal, this loop condition is not satisfied. We're going to skip it and we're going to go straight to this line here. System.out.println my array of index 1. So our output column is here. And my array of index 1. So since index 1 has 1, we go to this box right here and we output the number 5. And index 1 is incremented by 1. So we're going to do 2. All right, let's loop again and see if anything else changes. So we're going to go back right to our first loop. So we are now at this point here. While index 1 is less than 10, so 2 is of course less than 10, we enter the loop. My array of 2 is equal to index 1 plus 4. So index 1 is now 2, therefore 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. We're going to store the number 6 in my array of 2, which is here. So let's do that right now. Okay, then we have index 2 is equal to 1. It's already 1, so okay, we can just, you know, put another value there. doesn't matter. While index 2 is less than index 1. Now let's check our columns. Index 2 is 1 and index 1 is 2. So since 1 is less than 2, we enter the loop. Alright, and now that we've entered the loop, take a look at this line of code here. My array of index 1. So let's write that down. My array of index 1. Index 1 is basically 2. Is equal to B of index 1. B of index 1 is 2. And then we're going to add... Um, there we go. Where should I put this? Let's, okay. B of 2 plus my array of index 2. Index 2 is basically 1 there. Then we're going to minus the value of index 1, which is 2. All right. So if we replace this line with the values, what we're going to get is my array of 2, which means in this box, we're going to store b of 2. Take a look at b of 2. What do we have there? We have 0. So I'm going to highlight this there. We have 0 here, which means 0 plus, zero plus my array of 1, which is 5 minus 2 so what we get is 3 and we're going to put that in the place of my area of 2 and here we have 3 all right then then we have to do index 2 is equal to index 2 plus 1 so this is going to become 1 and system.out.println my array of index 1. So my array of index 1 is basically my array of 2. So we're going to output 3 there. And index 1 is equal to index 1 plus 1. So this is going to become 3. All right then, so we've looped this code two times and it's going to continue until index 1 becomes 10. So it's going to continue till 0, 1, 2, 3 until we get to 10. All right. So I hope you understand the concept of this. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Thank you.